Yeah, we heard it. We've been convicted by it, but we're not convinced that if I die in my sins the way that I'm living, I'm going to go to hell. You must not be convinced. You must be still thinking you can get on in anyhow. First Peter 4 and 18 says, If the righteous scarcely make it in. I wish I could y'all see. He said, If the righteous barely make it in. What you think going to happen to them that they say ain't even trying to live right? Do y'all hear what I'm saying? And then we'll leave out of here. Get on our phone with a text and uh, what's up? What you on? I'm out of church now. It's on. You ain't got to say amen. <laughs> Just got through rolling on the floor. And almost shook your weave out. Shouting and running around the church. Yeah, you can fool us. God is not mocked. Then we want to talk about each other. On the slide, though, you know, we really ain't just going to just talk, talk. We just going to, you know. But you know, I love them. <laughs> it's out of love now. Thank you, preacher. I ain't talking about nobody, but we need to pray for so and so. They. <sighs> Some of us been in been here at Kingdom Connections for at least since we started. And, and it seems like you still ain't convinced that God is doing something. And why is it, it important to be convinced? Because if you're not convinced, you can't get converted. The disciples walked with Jesus three and a half years and they didn't get saved he rose. Yeah, I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show it to you. They were convicted. They were even convinced, but they didn't get converted until, look, you remember Doubt and Thomas? Thomas didn't believe what? Until he could see the wounds in his hands and in his side. He didn't walk with him for three years. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? He was convicted. He had to be convicted by what Jesus was saying because he was with him. He had to be convinced that he was something special because he stayed with him three years, but he still wasn't converted. I remember when Jesus told Peter, he said, Peter, Peter, he said, the enemy has desired to see if you as we. But Peter, I have prayed for thee. And Peter says, Lord, I'm going to be with you. I'm going to go with you to the ends of the earth. I got your back. And Jesus like, Peter. Peter. Peter singing that song, I go if I had to go by myself, Jesus. And Jesus like, Peter, Peter, Peter. Before the cock throw three times, Peter. You're going to deny me. No, no, no. Jesus, no, I got to go. 
He was convicted. He was convinced. But he hadn't been converted. Because Jesus said to him, Peter, when thou art converted, strengthen your brethren. You don't believe it, do you? Turn with me. Turn with me to First Peter. Is that where that? That ain't where that. I'm gonna find it for you. Luke twenty-two. Go there. Luke twenty-two. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Look here, I want you to see it for yourself. So you can't say pastor said, but I don't know what he said. What is it? Luke 22. Verse 31. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, that's Peter. Behold, Satan has desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not, and when thou art what? You mean he ain't been walking with Jesus all this time, and he ain't saved yet? Y'all ain't. He said, when thou art converted, you strengthen thy brethren. Meaning you preach to them. We got preachers in the pulpit. I ain't even been converted yet. I know because I used I was one. That's why I can talk about it. I was white. I was with Peter there, thinking I had it together, and it still was just as lost as I could be. Hadn't been converted. But now that I'm converted, he said, "What strengthen them." And sometime to strengthen you, I got to expose you. When you go to the doctor, the doctor sometimes he tell you, take your, drop your pad. If you want to get better, you're going to drop your pad. You're going to come clean. You're going to get naked. The reason some of us can't get the liver go, we're trying to hide too much stuff. can't hide nothing from God. You can't hide nothing from the one trying to deliver you. So, Pastor, what you tell? Are you telling me that I, I ain't even saved? And I've been coming to church all this time. And I ain't even converted. Yeah, and you shall know the truth, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Convicted, convinced, and converted. I could read you some more scripture where Paul talks about being fully persuaded. Even we can look at our statement and say, faith and say, I, we are what? Fully persuaded. But some of us lie when we say that because we're not fully. Uh. We persuaded of some things, but we're not yet, what, fully, which means to be convinced. You can't make me doubt him because I, oh, y'all don't want to sleep on me now? Oh, y'all don't want to say it now? I close with this scripture today. (sighs) 
Well, maybe I won't close with that scripture. James 5, James 1. No, I'm not going to close with it. Don't even go there. James 1, 5 through 8 says, A double-minded man 